Bit by bit, the CapEx 2020 project moves along. This day was louder than most, thanks to some implosions happening just south and east of Alexandria. The implosions may be loud, but they have done wonders for making stronger, more reliable and, connections. Um, it actually almost welds the, uh, the connector onto this connection. It's an amazing uh, uh, process that's much stronger, a better connection, less line loss. Uh, we used to use a, a hydraulic uh, connection, and uh, that was always considered the weak point in the transmission line. And these implosive connectors uh, have given us this, this uh, improved connection. Crews need to first attach the implosion covering on the transmission line. Once imploded onto the line, the connector will then attach to the inside of these glass insulators. Once everything is in place, they will implode all connections at once. After the crew is safely out of harm's way, there's a horn. A countdown and... In only one ten thousandth of a second, the line is fused to the connector. It's a sound that's just a titch louder than they originally bargained for. Uh, we were told that uh, when you do a blast, it's like a shotgun, you know, shotgun going off. But once we, you know, did the first ones, it's more like a cannon going off. Uh, this morning they can get six connections, and they'll blow off uh, these simultaneously. So it can be quite loud. And for folks listening, you know, they shouldn't be alarmed. This blast, just off I-94, about a mile east of Highway 29, is directly across from the Lake Bergen rest stop and consists of only six implosions. Thousands of feet of transmission connector wire will eventually be pulled along from tower to tower. The line itself is made up of steel cables surrounded by a number of cords of aluminum. Helicopters have been used to move the project along, a necessity due to wet, wet conditions. The structures are, you know, next to the foundations in the field, but we haven't been able to get into those foundations with a big crane, about a 120 ton crane, to be able to actually get those structures erected. Once the structures are erected, then we can start to string the wire, the conductor. The next step in the process happened Monday as they strung cable across I-94 near Osakis. And of course, there will be more of this. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe